All right, Papa. What can people do in the summertime whenever it's hot and their plants are getting the summertime blues? Well, you need to make sure they stay hydrated. You need to keep the slow-release nitrogen on them, which is which is worm compost. When you keep the slow-release nitrogen, it, it don't burn the plant, but it's there continuously. It's not like you go out there and pour nitrate on nitrogen on them to fertilize, mm -hmm. and what happens then is crushes them, gives them a big rush, and then it dies off. This will sit there and just keep on producing slow and steady. Your plants are healthy. The root system grows faster. You, uh, it actually actually helps kill off the nematodes and the eggs and, and, and some pests. It's not an insecticide and it's not a fertilizer. The worm poop is not a fertilizer. Mm -hmm. It is a organism, living organism, and it don't build up salt like fertilizer in your garden. Okay. What did you see? In fact, I haven't even put worm casting on this one this year. Mm -hmm. And but it's but already I, I don't have to. I got. I, I bet I got a thousand worms right there in that little square spot. Night crawlers and red wings, mm -hmm. and they doing the job for me. See, it, this is a boost. When them plants are hurting, this will push them out of the ground. You won't bleed. Like when they have the summertime blues. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah what happens really with the summertime good. blues? Well, you, your plants are under heat stress, insect attack. Um, it's, uh, my, you know, especially on your squash and uh, cucumbers, they get the yellow uh, fungus and, 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 and they get weak and weakens the plants. This will help that because the plant will be stronger, faster growing, and it can, if you keep checking your plants and moving the old dead leaves and big leaves and all that, that plant will last a whole lot longer. Here again. What is the temperature today? 95? 96? There's a heat advisory. There's a heat advisory. You don't plants look like they're wilting? Nope. They're not going to wilt. And that bed is what? Three, four months old? Mm -hmm. I'm just developing this soil. That soil over there is four years old. Look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, you just, you have to have the soil. And the only reason these plants are not wilted and they're producing on, on, on just a, a, a first year bed I don't buy potting soil. I don't buy bedding soil. I make my own soil to go in my, my, my raised beds. This worm poop and the worms I got in there with this is keeping them plants healthy and they should be wilted down in this temperature. Look at them. They're beautiful. they just coming on. Look at these pretty tomatoes you got coming I'm in. I'm telling you. Uh, and I mean, look at them. They, that is the difference between this and, and just plain old garden.